Today we're going to be installing a set of these WeatherTech side window air deflectors. You can see I've already got the uh, passenger side done. So we're going to hop on the driver's side and do that one together. Um, now I've always been happy with the WeatherTech products including the uh, side window air deflectors. Uh, but these received uh, mixed reviews on Amazon. I'll link to this product down below so you can read them for yourself. Uh, but largely in part because of the instructions, uh, they're not that great. There are, on this particular vehicle there are some little clips that are included and uh, the instructions are like generic for generic weather stripping so I'm gonna try to get you a close-up of how I installed it here on the back and I believe it's pretty secure uh, now I'm gonna roll these windows up because uh, the last step indicates you should leave your windows up for at least 48 hours after installation but I just have them down for your uh, so you can see them with my tinted glass you really can't see them all that well okay let's go ahead and spin the truck around and we'll uh, install these together all right, so the kit includes two of these weather stripping tools. Um, I'm not sure why they included two of them. Maybe because they're two independent kits, the front and rear. I'm just going to spray this some Windex on a rag here and put it over the uh, weather stripping tool. I'm going to run it in around the weather stripping here just to clear out any junk. Now, uh, some kits do have adhesive on the, uh, on the air deflectors. This kit does not include adhesive. I'm just going to take a dry one here. We'll run it around. I'm just trying to get any grime or grit that might cause it to not see well. All right, you can see that it did. All right, so uh, again, some of the kits do have um, adhesive strips. This one does not, but you want to remove any stickers. Um, basically, stop, read the instructions that are not that great. <laughs> all right now uh, my garage is probably 65 degrees um, if you're in a cold weather climate you probably don't want to do this one outdoors because this is gonna have to flex quite a bit in fact I might zoom out here a little bit so you can see the whole thing and then we'll zoom it in uh, I also left these in the boiler room overnight so just thinking they might be a little more flexible. I'm going to start with the front edge here. Now this needs to sit on top of the weather stripping in the lower corner, and I'll get you a shot of that. All right. Okay, then we're going to flex this quite a bit, as I stated. We're going to push up this rear, and we're going to leave like a one to two inch gap up here in the corner. All right, let me, uh, let me zoom in so you can see where it's positioned right now. All right, here's the front corner, and you can see that uh, it is on the top of the weather stripping on the bottom here. Okay, if we follow up, you want to make sure that you don't have, and I can see one right there, a pinch. So before I go any further, I'm going to correct that, and I'll show you what I mean. So when you're tucking it up in, you don't want to uh, pinch the weather stripping. And then on the back, this slid down a little bit, but the instructions say to leave a one to two inch gap. So don't push this up all the way, okay? All right, so let's look at this corner one here. I don't think that's a pinch. That's just the way the weather stripping is um, shaped here at that bend. But this one up here, what we're going to do is we're going to hope that this tool doesn't have COVID because I'm putting it in my mouth. Okay. So you probably didn't see it, but I pulled this down and allowed that to slip it up in beside the weather stripping. Okay. Then we can go ahead and tuck the back corner up in like this, okay? Okay, now before we roll our window up, we're gonna take our tool and go around like this to make sure that we actually have a spot for the window. This is fairly thick, actually, you can see. So we're just gonna sort of mimic where that window is gonna seat up along the edge here. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, probably go nuts uh, because of this door chime, but I'm going to go ahead and reach around and pull out here and make sure that the window, as I go up slowly, make sure that it can nudge by that back front corner of the uh, air deflector. And then on the back, I'm going to do the same thing, pull out on it slightly. And uh, I can tell you that on the other side, I had a loud snap as it set into place. So let's see if I get that on this side. Nope. Okay, so we'll just run through that a couple times here. They say five times.
All right, so at this point, there's no need to hold it out, um, but I am going to roll the window up, leave it up for, they say, 48 hours, okay? Let's move on to the back one. All right, so for the rear, we're going to install these little metal clips, okay? There's even a little three on the clip because we're going to do three inches off each side here. And on one of the tools, they actually measured out uh, three inches, okay? So we can use the tool to measure off how far we need to install the clip from each side. And I'm just going to mark it off with a marker here. Just give me a rough idea. All right, here's a quick shot of the instructions. Okay, here's the clip itself. This curved piece goes to the outside of the window, outside of the door, okay? That itself is pretty straightforward. The problem is this weather stripping isn't exactly what we have. We don't have a piece that comes up like this. They say pull down here to install. Um, ours is shaped a little bit differently. We can't actually get the clip up against the, the metal door frame like this says. Uh, so let's uh, let's zoom in and take a look at how I installed the clip on the other side. And I think it's going to work just fine. All right, so there's our three inch mark right there. Okay. And so the instructions sort of show to pull this down and then uh, we're able to pull out on another piece. Um, but that's not the case with this weather stripping. There's another piece that we have to pull down. So um, you can pull this down and I've seen some people install the clip right there but I don't believe that's correct um, mainly because it shows the clip going up against the door frame um, and in this scenario it's not going to in fact it's not going to sit it's not going to sit square either um, so what I'm going to do is reach up in here and there's another another top lip uh, that we can pull down and that's where I installed the clip on the other side okay so uh, let me put my light down here and again, um, curve side out. So flat side in, curve side out. We're going to push that like that. And force it in. Just like that. All right, so I believe that is correct. And again, the reason I say that is because um, the instructions indicate that the top of the clip is supposed to be against the metal door frame, which we really can't achieve uh, with this weather stripping. But it does sit up there um, flush, right? So if we didn't install it in this second um, lip, it would be kind of tucked in here, okay? Which I don't believe is, is accurate, okay? All right, same deal, look for a three inch mark. That's the outer piece of the weather strip. I'm gonna dig up in here, get the inner piece of the weather strip. Curve side out. Just kind of get it started here. And then basically you need to push in and up. Just like that. And then make sure that you pop this outer. If this outer piece piece of weather stripping pulls out, just kind of push that up in. All right, so this one's a little easier. We don't have to flex it as much. We just have to kind of get it in there at an angle. I'm going to start with the rear of it upward. Okay, push it all the way up in and then kind of pull it out. Take our tool, go up around, make sure we don't have any weather stripping pinched. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with our window. We're going to roll it up and down five or so times, and then we're going to leave it up for 48 hours, okay? Hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, you know, it's a really easy job. I just think the instructions weren't that great. Um, but we're going to go ahead and uh, see how they hold up, and maybe I'll post an update, you know, down the road, if I lose one in the car wash or something, uh, I'll definitely post an update, okay? <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Give me that thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And uh, if you're not a subscriber and you want to see more of this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button for me. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.